evening everybody welcome to the shadow war yes it's friday night which has now become far east night yes it's the 1941-45 chain of command far east supplement that's been released and a hard copy landed through my letterbox uh this week and of course i thought i would give it a go now i've been very lucky that i played a, a draft version of some of the rules that are in here last year at hearts of lard and uh Thankfully, in the last 12 months, Rich has really worked on these and brought out now a really impressive set of rules and amendments for the Far East, uh, as well as, of course, lots and lots of new lists covering all the forces that fought in Burma, Malaya, Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, and also in the Dutch East Indies. Um, it's a quality publication, probably the best, I think, that I've seen the Two Fat Lardies release. Uh, since I got into all their rules and uh, the, the, the different stuff that they do. Um, I'm trying not to be biased, but I do recommend it to everybody. Um, I say quality, quality, pack full of stuff. So, to the game itself. Well, um, I was playing the Japanese in 1941-42 force um, with a small amount of um, support, taking on the Dutch in, the, uh, in Java. Hence the railway line. There's not many railway lines anywhere else in the Dutch East Indies. And it was a very straight, straightforward game. The idea here is not to swamp myself uh, with all the issues and all the problems that you have in fighting in the jungle. Uh, now that's deliberate because in the supplement there are multiple layers of things that the Japanese can do. Dependent uh, on the terrain and dependent on the, basically their leadership and also the part, the part of the war. Now, I would just suggest to anyone who's jumping in here, play a game like this where there's a lot more open ground. There's only jungle thicket, which is uh, defined in the rules. And I've tried to reduce the amount of jungle uh, to very small pieces. And these act like woods rather than jungle. Now, this way you get to better fight the Japanese, understand all the options and the support options like ruses and things like that. And get to play a reasonably straightforward game of trying to take, you know, trying to go around the flank, try and take the line of communication or season of objective. I think reading through these and knowing what happened last year when I did Hearts of Lard, if you get jumped straight in with the jungle stuff, I think you will be swamped. I think you will struggle with all the multiple things you can do. Um, you almost need like a crib card with the, what the Japanese are able to do. And, it can be overwhelming. So my suggestion, it's just my suggestion, is set up a game like this, give yourself some room, give yourself some terrain which you can fight over with a bit of line of sight and get some of yourself familiar with the Japanese. And once you've done that, you know, add your hills, add more and more jungle, secondary or even primary, and go the whole hog. But don't jump in first. I think you won't get as much out of this as you should and it might even put you off a bit because you'll be struggling to remember all the things they can do. And you'll be annoyed at yourself at the end of the game, realising you've forgotten stuff that could have won you the game. So anyway, so I played this tonight. Um, the Japanese uh, had their standard platoon. They had eight support points. Now, because of the differences between the, the Dutch and the Japanese in training, everything, the Dutch got a total of, uh, it was 15 support points in total. And they spent it wisely on because machine guns, a light tank, um, and basically tried to, and also a, um, a mountain gun as well. Um, the problem with the Dutch is a lot of the stuff that they get doesn't come with a leader. So you have to rely on rolling ones to activate them. Um, or you need a senior leader if you're talking about um, Vickers machine guns and things like that to also try and trigger them. And you can't be everywhere. And you only have two senior leaders and trying to defend a, whether call a river line or a creek uh, against the Japanese who have these jitter parties or scouts is extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult and it's a challenge and it's a great challenge. Uh, I genuinely came away from tonight thinking I really have not fallen in love with Chain of Command again, but I certainly am thinking, wow, this is fantastic. I want to play this a lot. Uh, and when I finish playing a game, I want to play again um, because I've learned all these lessons from how to use the forces. Um, so anyway, I recommend to you all, get hold of this copy of the Far East Supplement. Um, you won't regret it. And get yourself some terrain, build yourself some 
forces with 28 mil, 20 mil, 15 mil, and get playing the Far East because um, you will absolutely love it. So anyway, good night from the Shadow War. Um, I'm off to lovely, lovely Cambridgeshire tomorrow to play General to Arme. And on Sunday, it's the last game of the season. So I shall go and support my lovely Crystal Palace. Um, and then after that, back to work. Anyway, everyone, have a lovely weekend and uh, enjoy whatever you're doing. Bye-bye.